afternoon storms, no driving mechanism for them, so they basically just pop up and rain themselves out. But unfortunately, we see flooding in the process. Here's some video right now of flooding along Valley Avenue here in Birmingham. A lot of ponding on the roadways. While we didn't have any active flash flood warnings, we did have flood advisories. That just means that areas with poor drainage likely to flood exactly what we saw across the metro this afternoon. And it's going to take a little bit while for all the water to recede, but thankfully, this the rain is finally starting to come to an end. Looking at our storm team tower cameras right now, we're seeing a very dark sky in East Alabama where it's been mostly dry except for a few stray showers raining right now in Hamilton and dark skies in Tuscaloosa as well, but starting to see the sun peak out here. Our temperatures are really pretty comfortable because of all the rain that we saw, especially in West Alabama, still be dealing with widespread showers, but mostly light rain for the time being. We had a, the strong downpours that moved through the Birmingham Metro now starting to clear up just a bit. These storms aren't moving a whole lot, so what they're doing is basically raining themselves out here in Fayette. Light to moderate rainfall continues as well into Lamar County, but the heaviest rain is mainly in Marion County as well as back into Mississippi. Over the past 24 hours, we got a soaking rainfall almost three inches in Lamar County right near Fayette 2.3 in Pickens County 2.4 in northern Jefferson County in the Birmingham Metro 1.4 and only about a little over a half an inch in East Alabama so very sporadic in nature don't worry though if you didn't see the rain today we're going to get another opportunity tomorrow as well as on Monday Right now, our temperatures are pretty mild for all the places that saw the rain. Upper 70s in Talladega as well as in Birmingham. But in the 90s right now in Gadsden, where we haven't seen any rainfall, 88 in Alexander City and 82 right now in Tuscaloosa. Impressive rainfall total or rain chances to start out the week, but then we're going to start to dry out towards the end of next week. You'll see on Futurecast, we will start off the morning dry tomorrow, but then more widespread showers and thunderstorms throughout the afternoon. Rinse and repeat through Monday, then we'll gradually start to dry out towards the middle of the week. We're tracking a lot in the tropics right now. We have this one area of low pressure off the coast of Texas and Louisiana. That's likely not going to turn into much. Also, we have this uh, low pressure system off the coast of Florida. This one is going to stay off to sea, so no land impacts expected. But we'll be closely watching tropical st storm Dorian as it nears the Lesser Antilles by around Tuesday, tracking towards Puerto Rico on Wednesday and then from there we'll have to wait and see what happens for us. The good news for the holiday weekend for us here locally it looks like it's going to be dry along the Gulf Coast. I don't expect any uh, impacts from tropical